All this week with a team of journalists across the country, we're exploring help for students and families who've been set back most this year. The transition from in-person to online learning has proven tricky for many students, but for others, their performance actually improved. Chris Jacobs reports on a school district in South Texas where some students benefit from that switch in unexpected ways. The sights and sounds of a student completing schoolwork in 2020 aren't that different from our regular lives. It's basically getting up at 7.15 in the morning, taking a shower, getting through the morning. Everything is just a click away. I think it's fairly easy as long as you do what you're told. Alex Casas is an eighth grader at Coakley Middle School in Harlingen and like most kids his age, being in front of a screen comes natural. I'm pretty good at computer stuff. Google Classroom is really not that hard. But Alex was able to separate himself from millions, not just in the Valley or Texas, but in the country. While many are barely staying afloat or sinking altogether with virtual learning, he's maintaining straight A's. I think I just do better off on my own. Different children learn differently, and there's a lot of different reasons um, that could be impacting their learning. Dr. Teresa Chapacantu is a licensed psychologist and the president of the Resiliency Psychological Center in Harlingen. She knows the obstacles children face both in the classroom and at home. Some children have a learning disorder or attention deficit or um, intellectual disabilities. Uh, and so, you know, the in-classroom structure might be more helpful for them. But not for everyone. For some children, they're able to, to learn better at home. Maybe they have fewer distractions. Uh, maybe the, the parents a little bit more engaged, has a little bit more time to devote to helping them um, with their schoolwork. She believes the pandemic is an eye-opening experience, potentially leading to a permanent educational change. I can see teachers implementing a lot of different learning tools that they had not considered or had not implemented before in order to help the students that do learn differently. Though it's too early to completely understand the specific reasons for virtual success, there is evidence to suggest an unintended consequence of online learning is a clearer mind. Yeah, I'm more comfortable here at home. I, it's just more relaxing, less stressful. With any drastic change, there's going to be a shock to the system. Some students requiring more time to adjust than others, and it's reflected in their grades. Some Texas school districts even seeing a failure rate jump to 25% in their district or worse. You know, there were a lot of lessons learned in this whole entire process. Dr. Alicia Noyola, the chief academic officer with HCISD, says the pandemic forced school districts everywhere to take a step back. There are some students that thrive in that remote learning space. If there are students for whom that type of setting works and they can thrive in that environment, then we certainly want to keep those aspects. For Dr. Noyola, choice becomes one of the leading factors to success. We consistently get feedback about students for whom that type of setting works, but then we're also going to have students for whom it's just not the most appropriate setting. And for Alex, that brings a sometimes distracting environment more into focus. So you think being at home pretty much eliminates a lot of that distraction? Yeah, well, other than my phone. <laughs> but even with his success, Alex is anxious to get back in the classroom. I really miss my friends, Coakley, school, my football and all that. It's my last year of junior high, so it kind of sucks. When we finally close the door on the pandemic. In Harlingen, Texas, I'm Chris Jacobs reporting. The district says schoolwork and tests continue to provide evidence for how well students are handling virtual learning. All week, we're bringing you stories as part of this project here on KXAN. We also have a story exclusively on our Pass or Fail digital project. It's all about an Austin program providing after-school enrichment programs, specifically focusing on children from low-income families, children of color, and those with disabilities. See how it's met the challenges posed by the pandemic. Just search for the story on the main page, excuse me, the main pandemic Pass or Fail page on KXAN.com.